What's up everybody? It's your boy Crazy Kyle, the Filipino picker. And today, we're gonna talk about signatures, autographs, and this episode is dedicated for the basketball players, politicians, mga artista, and everything else. Mga galing sa US, galing sa Pilipinas. So, if you love autographs and gusto nyo makita yung mga autograph nila, this is the episode for you. And I wanna give a shoutout dito oh, sa ginagamit natin ngayon na stabilizer. I wanna give a shoutout to Zion Philippines. Direct ikatlo. Maraming salamat sa regalo mo sa akin. And shoutouts to FUBU of course. FUBU Philippines. Um, we're here today at Museo ng Kahapon. So I wanna give a shoutout to everybody who already visited. Uh, our page is Museo ng Kahapon. Just search it on Facebook. Museo ng Kahapon. And also the Filipino Picker. So let's check out this episode. Filipino Picker here at Museo ng Kahapon. I'm out. Peace. Okay daw, samahan nyo ako sa number one na idol ko when it comes to music. And he gave me an autograph a few years ago. And that's no other than Francis Magalona. Let's open up this one. Yeah. There. I have this he gave to me. He says, Yo Kyle, God bless always Francis M. Now let's check out the KP shoes ni Captain Lionheart. Let's go check it out. Let's flip the cam. There it is. So if you notice, talagang nilagay niya date uh, de uh, December 2016. Never give up, Kyle. Talagang mi message yan ni si Alvin Patrimonio kaya maganda. And uh, he also signed this photograph. Uh, we were featured in Spin Magazine. Now, the next signature that I'm gonna show you, we have to snoop down a little bit. Kasi nasa baba siya ng mga shelves, no? Ito yung Pawn Stars in Manila. And after two years, I actually met them in the History Con when I was already named as the Filipino Picker of History Channel. So, the first thing I wanna show you guys, let's open this up, is the, the signed photo. This is just really amazing kasi ako ang nabunot sa raffle, no? So I get I got to meet both of them, si uh, Big Hoss saka si Rick. And then they gave me a whole package, the bubble heads, and then this book which Rick signed, no? He gave me an autograph. Sabi ko 2 years ago I met you guys. But you probably don't remember me. And then, sinay niya yan. And ang nakakatawa, ito, sinay niya. Binaboy niya yung mukha ng dad niya. Ayan, oh. <laughs> Nilagyan niya ng sungay sa kabigote. Making him look like Lucifer. A steak. So, ayun. The Pawn Stars in Manila. Now at Museo ng Kahapon. So, right now, let's check out this autograph pop, no? Siyempre, Importante kung toy collector ka, meron ka rin mga pop collections, no? And I have a few, and this is the one with the autograph, and it's autographed by no other than Ben Affleck. Now, let's check out the Ben Affleck Batman. In my opinion, well, if not the best, one of the top two na Batman. And of course, yung importante na Certification of authenticity. So that's how his autograph looks like, no? May uh, letter B and A. Uh, ben Affleck. So the certificate number, uh, as you can see, it says V13305 should match the pop. So yon 7130305. The good thing about this Imelda memorabilia is. Eto, papakita ko sa inyo. Wait. Yan. Yung perma niya nakalagay Love Imelda Marcos, no? Uh, napakaganda niya na it says here Imelda Romualdez Marcos, First Lady and Minister of Human Settlements and Ecology. So, ang maganda dito mga kap is hindi niya nilagyan ng tukail. Usually, ang daming nagbabenta sa marketplace nakalagay yung pangalan ng tao. Usually, nireregalo niya yan sa mga tao eh. 
Pero since ako ay unknown sa kanya, <laughs> nilagay na lang niya Love Imelda Marcos, which is really good because that means I can sell it someday if I need to sell it. Unlike ito, yung isang idol natin sa Dista, oh, nilagay, tinadtad ng Kyle. Here at the other shoe, Kyle, he's really smart. Yeah, yung album, idol natin na si uh, Captain Lionheart uh, Alvin Patrimonio iba talaga siya, sanay na sanay siya sa mga ganyan, talagang ilalagay niyo yung pangalan mo, which is good for me because I rarely sell, so okay lang uh, I don't need to sell it naman, pero I like the Imelda because it has an option that someday my kids my grandkids can sell it uh, since it's signed by one of the most important people, no? sa history ng Pilipinas which is Imelda Marcos and of course, isa sa mga highly collectible na mga pirma lagi ay yung mga people who already passed away, no? yung mga taong hindi na natin kasama ngayon pero inidulo natin mula noon hanggang ngayon so a perfect example is one of the creators of Iron Man on Marvel which is Stan Lee yeah, this one is one of my favorites. Look at that. It says there's Stan Lee. And I believe this was signed in a Comic Con. In a Comic Convention. Let's check the back. At the back it says there signed at Megacon Comic Con uh, 2014. No? March 22nd, 2014. Tapos ito yung hologram niya. Came from a uh, Mumbi's comics and collectibles. I've seen a lot of these uh, uh, certificate of authenticity in uh, online, and uh, very important na may uh, cert uh, certified signature hologram sticker na ganto. This one is the Spider-Man and Daredevil comic signed by Stan Lee ulit. Ayan, let's check out the certificate of authenticity sa likod yan. Yeah, so if you look at it, uh, it says here Stanley Collectibles has authorized the certificate as stand of proof. Tapos yun yung hologram niya, very important. Authentic Stanley and the certificate number 38984, which should match the one here at the comic, which is 38984. Very, very nice. Tiga natin. Similar dun sa isa natin kanina. Tony Ferrer National Treasures Autograph, no? Ang nakakagulat dito, no? Uh, gustong gusto ko talaga. I purchased it for, I think, 2,000 or 3,000 pesos. And then, no? Ito talaga. Nakakagulat kasi after I purchased it, in a matter of 3 days, no? 3 days. He passed away. Uh, nagkalat sa balita na he already passed away. So, nagulat ako kasi it's not in my plan. Nakita ko lang na nakapost yan sa online eh. Nung nakita kong nakapost siya, sabi ko, I have to have it. Nakipagagawad ako, binili ko. Ito matindi. Pugad baboy. Uh, tagpe, makaistorbo kami sa'yo ha. And this one is given to me by uh, Sir Paul Medina. This is 2019. He watched me perform. Uh, we were at uh, Retrocon. It was Retrocon. So uh, I purchased one of his comics and then he signed it for me. No? And this is what he said. Kasi kakatapos ko lang mag-perform as Crazy Kyle, the rapper. Galing lang ako sa stage and then parang yung Imelda. No? Pareho. No? Napakaganda nung message niya sa akin. Sabi niya, raise the woof. Raise the roof. Pero raise the wolf dahil ang pugad baboy eh, alam nyo na, aso sila. Yon, and of course we have a lot of Taylor Swift fans out there. Hindi ko kayo bibiguin sa episode na to because I was able to acquire one of uh, Taylor Swift's album na signed. No? Of course, uh, mga diehard fans, you all know that with this album, she won a Grammy just recently no nung nakaraan um, i believe this album was released 2020 during the pandemic no so you can already imagine the emotions as an artist uh, being locked down and writing a whole album and recording it so big ups to taylor let's take a closer look at it 
Okay, so that's her autograph, Taylor Swift. Um, and if you order from her shop, no, uh, if you order from the online shop, me Taylor, she will send you a package in a box, and it will have what she calls confetti, na stars. So uh, we kept the stars and the confetti because that's one of the you know remembrances na galing talaga kay Taylor itong order na ito. And of course, hindi pwedeng wala yung newly acquired nating uh, palit kidney, palit kidney, palit kidney uh, Kobe Bryant autograph NBA card. So inside this white box, I have one of the more expensive uh, signatures that I acquired. Uh, one reason is because yung Pumerma is no longer around. He passed away tragically. But um, of course, his fans like myself, uh, we want to collect uh, for his legacy. I'm talking about the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's open it up. Let's go check it out. Here's the autograph card. And manuscripts. Um, this one is called the sticker auto. No? Mas mahal yung mga on-card auto. Because uh, ang reason behind it is because um, these stickers, a bunch of stickers were given to Kobe to sign. So that means na yung sticker ang nahawakan niya to sign, not the actual card. Pero yung mga iba na actual sa card po mirma, mas mataas yung mga value yun. But this one valued at around 130k by the seller. Uh, pretty good for me kasi considering Kobe can't sign anymore and I'm not a big card collector uh, like I said I'm an antique collector I'm a uh, collector of history so pwedeng pwede na sa akin to I don't need the 500k or 1 million peso uh, cards kasi I'm not a card collector no? I'm a collector of history so Basically, I just want the signature of Kobe talaga. And I want to have one or two. I have two right now. At the back, let's take a look at it. It says, The autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. So, 2016-17, he was still alive. Rest in peace, Black Mamba. Idol. Now, right here at the cassette tape shelves, isa sa mga pinaka-idol ko sa collecting world ah, at also sa hip-hop. Isa sa mga pioneers ng Philippine hip-hop. I'm talking about Andrew E. So, uh, I have a couple of collections. Check it out. So, ito of course yung Alabanger. No? Pakaganda. Ayan yung autograph ni Kuya Andrew. Yan yung itura. This one. Bastos daw. And syempre, yung laging kinakanta ng lahat. Banyo Queen. This one naman is a bottle, no? That came from very unique kasi dito siya nag-drawing, eh. Si, si uh, Idol Berlin Manalaysay, no? The maker of Combatron. Yung funny comics na sinabi ko, Idol, ikaw ang idol ko. Ang sabi niya, mas idol ka, Kyle. And this one naman, isa sa mga naging bossing ko noon when I was still on TV. Sir Jojo Alihar, Jojo A, an Aspen notebook. No? And yung mga Alden Richards noon, yung mga 80s, 90s. And this is his signature. All the way, Jojo A. Yan siya, yung actual guesting ko. If you can see, I have there the TV, phone. Natawa siya ng tawa. Sabi niya kung ano daw ba, pang Skype daw ba yun, eh wala pang internet. So, eto yon Yung tumuseyo ng kahapon. Uh, Jojo A. Ayan yung signature niya. This next one that I'll show you is yung higanteng <laughs> shorts ni Boss Calvin Abueva. Uh, minsan ako na masukan ni Sal Calvin as houseboy. Eh. Hindi, joke lang. Uh, as Kahoy world owner, oh, naging supplier niya ako ng mga furniture niya. So, uh, when I uh, delivered his furniture 
Medyo ang ganda ng regalo sa atin eh, ni Boss eh. Ito yun, enfermado to. Let, let me show you. So let's take a look at the official Gilas Pilipinas uh, shorts of Calvin Abueva. And ayan yung autograph niya mga men. And if you can see the big A, you know, and I think it's wrapped with a C. Uh, Calvin Abueva and it says number 8. It's got the Nike logo. Very nice. And dun sa mga sumusubaybay sa music career ko, uh, if you guys catch that video, music video ko with Med Marfil of True Faith, uh, a few years ago, uh, I had a song called More Fun in the Philippines with True Faith. Uh, and hindi ko talaga pinalampas yun kasi meron ako ng first album nila. Let's go check it out. And uh, ang nakalagay, uh, Kyle, stay true. Signed by Med Marfil. Kaleng no? Yung mga trademark nila, lagi. Yun yung nilalagi nila. Sa Francis M. Yo, sa Imelda, Love, sa Patrimonio, about basketball. And of course, sa True Fate nilagay niya, True. And uh, sa Pugat Baboy, Race the Wolf, di ba? Kaya nakakaaliw talaga. And to all you friends, fans, magkaka reunion yata very, very soon. Uh, here at my house, I have a little mini Monica's Kitchen. So let's go take a look kasi meron ako dun sa taas. Oh, na parang napakagandang autograph uh, frame photo as well. So let's go check it out. Okay, let's go check out Monica's Kitchen. No? Uh, you guys all know Hugsy. And then uh, the peephole. That's the friend's uh, autograph frame and a golden frame that idol na idol na yung mga yan. That's uh, Phoebe, Lisa Kudrow, uh, Matt LeBlanc, Courtney Cox, uh, Jennifer Aniston, Matthew Perry, you know, MP, and then uh, si Ross, David Schwimmer, and si uh, Phoebe, uh, if you notice, letter L and letter K. And si LeBlanc ang medyo magulo yung autograph eh. Pero eto, Courtney Cox, very visible also. Courtney Cox. Okay, let's look at the certification. Ayan. My certification number siya. Very important yan. So, before I frame this, um, sa back, at the back, there's a... There's a uh, hologram sticker also na the same serial number no uh, that's me I got this from Pier 39 and yeah, when I went to San Francisco nyo, oh, fresh off the boat <laughs> eto naman yung mga idol natin sa Peking si na Jun Manalo the legendary Filipino picker and si George Bonsai no ayan sila yung dalawang idol ko talaga pagdating sa Peking and of course, sinay niya ni Danielle Colby ng The Pickers, The American Pickers, nung nagpunta sila dito. She signed this for me kasi suot-suot ko yan eh, yung cap na yan. When we had the VIP dinner. So, now it's in Museo ng Kahapon. This one I got from San Francisco, California. Uh, from Antiquities. Uh, sa Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, this is uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Or Ghost Whisperers, Melinda Gordon. So uh, let's go take a closer look at it. And the Certificate of Authenticity. And so uh, I framed this. It says Pier 39, no? Phil Chapin. And uh, ito yung cert, uh, Certificate of Authenticity. And it has a number. It says there 131775. So like I said earlier, the certification should have a number. And should be signed so it's one of the important uh, details of buying signed memorabilia this is from lady dayan sasasadami na problema natin Yan. thank you for the support kyle nakalagay lady dayan and he signed two cassette tapes things a crazy kyle i love you sabi yan. lady dayan he, she guested in one of my episodes of Crazy Cal TV way back. 
Ayun. So the reason why I collected all the signatures of all these players, no. Sa ngayon ang meron ako is yung mga 80s and 90s players pa lang. Yung mga 2000s and 2010s na naglalaro pa rin. Hindi ko pa kino-collect kasi may excuse pa ako dahil ang excuse ko kino-collect ko lang yung mga retired players na. So kapag ka-active pa, naglalaro pa. Hindi ko muna yun i-collect. Kaya yung Dwayne Wade meron na ako eh. Ayoko nga muna bumili nung kasi medyo mahal pero nakabili na ako kasi nag-retire na siya recently. Yung Lebron James, ang autograph cards niya go up to uh, 100,000. Yung mga cards niya to 400,000, 500,000. Ang hirap na. So buti na lang naglalaro pa siya at hindi ko pa kailangan bumili nun. Let's check out the other. Ito yung idol ko ngayon eh. Si Nikola Jokic. So I hope mag-MVP siya kasi ito lang yung nag-iisang active player na kinokolekta ko pati autographs niya and right here naman sa vault dito yung medyo mga malapit sobra sa puso ko so let's go check him out Damn. you know let's go check him out I got some really good ones here player yeah and this is the 130k card I was talking about and uh, it's rated 9 mint and ang ganda ng perma ni Michael dito ang lucky and it's only 4 of 12 guys okay that means that sa mundo 12 lang yan at ito yung number 4 12 lang ang ganito and this one ang nakadlabas yung dila nya uh, the trademark labas dila pose so, yun, nakalagay, congratulations, you have received an authentic uh, autograph card. This one naman bigay sa akin ng idol ko, Bosco Amo Ninong, uh, MMDA Chairman, best friend ng bayan sa Mandaluyong, Mayor Ben Horabalos. Let's check it out. Napakaganda. This one, ang sabi niya, Dear Crazy Kyle, to a good friend kumpare, a million thanks for all the support. Ayan, no? Usually nakikita lang yun sa mga billboards, sa mga posters ng City of Mandaluyong no? eto naman sa mga hindi nakakaalam eh, that's not Alonzo Mulak that's Nino Mulak no? <laughs> ayan siya kasama si FPJ ayan yung perma niya nakasama ko siya sa Metro Manila Film Fest and sinulat niya dito yung tagline ng Cosmos noon no? ayan yung hawak niya na bote nakalagay gusto ko eh ayan, gusto ko eh Ayan. And he signed it, Ninyo Mulak at the bottom. Ganda. This one naman, uh, regalo sa akin ni Jamie Dempsey. No? She signed it right there. She signed it, Jamie. And uh, this is the photo of the Lawton Police Station. And bagay na bagay sa riding seat. No? Yung mga motorcycles ng no? mga cops no? nasa labas. Many thanks, Jamie Dempsey. At syempre, hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng autograph episode ng wala si Big J, no? Ayan. Ito medyo lumang-luma talaga ang tawag dito. Wood laminated photo. May pirma ni the Big J. And of course, um, yan naman yung senatorial uh, campaign ball na pinamigay niya back in the day. This one, ito naman yung sa Dolphy na autograph, no? Ayan, nakalagay, Mabuhay from Dolphy. Regalo sa atin ni Mang June Manalo. And of course, tinabi natin yan dyan sa kasaphoto ni Mang Dolphy. Stig. Ajax. 